Hey, what's up everybody? Paul here, Left Coast Model Car Builds. Getting a little video out. I actually had this going yesterday, but man, I messed up. Butchered it, I think, trying to get a little too much in without having these videos run too long for you guys. Uh, I know when it's not directly based on a build or something in the front, we can all get a little uh, patience maybe run out on these things. I didn't want to go too long. Um, so anyhow, a couple little mail calls. First one, not open here. Uh, this is actually Bella's. This is uh, Revell 30 Ford Model A. I think we're both going to build. She's going to build that one along with me building one. Uh, do it for a, uh, a group build. Yeah, no, another group build, right? I'm just watching the times on these things and actually going to probably put down, make myself a little list so I can keep track of everything and a little rotation. I mean, it sounds funny, but similar to like a body shop would run, going to have a little rotation on these projects. So as parts are drying, can be working on something else. And in some ways, it's kind of a good thing. Um, you know, luck I've had, I'll get something going on a project. Uh, feels good, looks good, and you start working with it, and you got fingerprints and paint. So what I've been doing is working on three or four different projects, where one day I'll take uh, work on something, get stuff sprayed, and then uh, go ahead and let it sit for a few days while I move on through the other projects, work on a little bit at a time. Uh, so a couple more things, mail calls. So if you saw the video I did, on the uh, 66 Chevelle, the red one, um, the fuel line, which for the most part I've been using the solder. I think we went over that in another video. It's talking about that. But um, I had mentioned these little electronic parts that I have some, can't find the rest of them. I used it and basically look, gives it a nice, like as if it has a little fuel filter, which is, and, uh, I don't know if you can kind of see them there. Um, so what I did was went on Amazon, got a few different sizes and gauges and not bad. I'll, uh, maybe try to put a link up in the video on some of these. Um, they're, I don't know if they're little fuses, little diodes. Um, so I got the assortment and some of these will work on bigger scale stuff. I just got to check the lengths, make sure they'll get from the carburetor to the fuel pump, which I think the 24th and 5th scale will be fine. 16th scale may be a stretch, and I don't think they would work on the bigger scales. As far as the lengths, I guess you could modify them. But um, anyhow, so hopefully some cool little uh, fuel lines. Look like it's got a little filter to it. Um, another thing from Amazon, so a buddy of mine, he uses these crimp tubes um, along with your detail master fittings and stuff for your braided line, fuel lines, brake lines, whatever you're using a fitting on. Uh, he was telling me he found these at a hobby store up near him, uh, my buddy Kevin, and this is what he's been using. So again, not sure the sizing and everything, so I went ahead and just ordered a mixed pack on Amazon. And um, I'll kind of see what works here. Then I can go ahead and, uh, you know, order some more in the specific size and some different colors. So again, those are some crimp tubes. Uh, get him some 3D stuff, 3D printed stuff. Uh, this is, and grab some of this stuff, guys. Let me know. This, this all isn't like right now. This, some of this stuff I've had sitting around since last year. Yeah, never, just hadn't even opened it. Um, got some different 3D engines. I've seen some guys build them up, and man, some of them look really cool. Let's adjust this. Uh, so, I got a couple uh, from the uh, Texas 3D Customs. Their stuff, and uh, Juan for you, who I've ordered from before, and I've got some of his stuff here. I'll show you. I really like really clean. Um, now looking forward to putting together some of these. I'll, I'll wait till I got a project for them. 
there's a few parts in the bag. But I got three different engines from uh, the Texas 3D guys. And I think from one I got, I think two engines and a few things. And again, this is, this is all coming from, you know, last year. And I think the last time I ordered one was a little earlier this year. But I got some different seats, little bomber seats, some racing seats uh, for some kits. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. I think. Yeah, seats, and then, like I say, a couple of uh, his engines as well. I'm looking forward to checking out and getting them in something. Now, what was weird? So all the engines I ordered, I guess you could say over time, I've got five different 3D, 3D printed engines or motors that come like this so you can work them over, detail them, whatever you want to do. I got one from this other seller on eBay. And this is what I got here. Um, I mean, it looks cool. It's a Ford, Ford Cobra 3D printed. Um, I was just surprised it came more or less assembled or I don't know if they printed them out like this um, definitely makes it a little harder to do a little cleanup and detailing on so I think with this thing I'll clean it up the best I can paint it do a little brush painting a little maybe as much detailing as I can but um, probably gonna be building a Ford model for a friend here sometime this year and maybe try to mount this to a transmission and sit it in there. Otherwise I don't, maybe it was printed like this, I don't know. Um, interesting, I just, everything I've seen online and uh, guys are building come like these other ones. So that was a little interesting, but nonetheless, it was cool. You know, cool block. Uh, then from this other, this other guy, and I had this, yesterday I had all the info, but today I'm just kind of winging it. I forgot if it was Ray's, Ray's or Jay's, but um, picked up a couple of wheels, really cool, uh, three bar, like a three bar Lancer, um, and some old schools, little mags. So looking forward to using these on some stuff. I think they'll be really cool some hot rods and customs see how they work out um, yeah otherwise got our issues of model cars mag let me adjust this thing um, yeah so now we get two copies in our mail so we've always had our uh, subscription going and bella has her own subscription she was gifted or or one that um i don't know if it was this past nnl west or the one before uh, both years, she was fortunate enough to win the Youth youth Award at the NNL West out here in Santa Clara. And uh, one of the years, along with her uh, plaque, she was given a, a year, year or two-year subscription to Model Cars Mag. I believe that is Greg out there. Thank you. She enjoys it. Uh, and we all enjoy the magazine. Good stuff. Uh, but otherwise, that's that's about it for some mail call stuff and uh, again not stuff that came like this week or whatever just some stuff that was on the bench like i say some of it's been sitting there i haven't even opened it um so hope everybody's having a good friday hope you guys had a good week and hopefully a good weekend coming uh mine hopefully going to be pretty mellow my daughter's texting me i think her and her boyfriend will go to a movie ask me to watch the grandbaby my little guy he's He's a kick, I don't mind. I just gotta see what's going on around here. Um, but yeah, he's he loves his cars already. He's about, I think right now, he's probably pushing about 15 months. And he walks around here, cars, cars. He runs in the room and wants to be picked up to look at the models. <clears throat> They're saying he wakes up in the morning talking about cars or mumbling about cars, I guess you say, his age. So that's really cool. So good time when he's around. Um, but otherwise, yeah, hopefully a good mellow weekend. I'm going to try to get a few videos up on some builds. Uh, definitely looking to get some progress on uh, two of the group builds. And I've got two or three entry videos I need to get up. 
Um, but I enjoy this. I normally sound like that. Say it's going to be a busy, busy weekend with this stuff. But you know, when you enjoy doing stuff, it's not bad. Um, so look for those videos coming. Again, I appreciate the uh, subscribes, the comments. Uh, so far, 99.9%, everything's been positive. Had one guy, I guess he didn't like the uh, Tri-5 Chevys on the short videos. He said he was, he said he loves old cars, but he's tired of seeing all these 57s. Uh, funny thing is, is I was getting ready to post, I have a 57 sitting in the garage, so unfortunately you're probably going to see a lot of videos on it, you know. But when I went back through uh, looking at the shorts they were posted up, they're actually... If anything, there's three or four 55s, a 56 Nomad, the rest are just random cars, either friends of mine or stuff from shows or cars and coffee, so I'm not sure where he either saw the 57s or maybe just got confused with the other Tri-5s, but it's all good, man. If You know, if you don't like the content, um, you know, hey, sorry, I mean, I just, like I said, man, this channel is really uh, just to try to contribute to the community post what we do and how we do it and uh, you know there's more than one way to skin a cat right so I'm not saying my way is the best or my way is the only way i'm just saying here's how i do things and hopefully it helps somebody out so uh otherwise uh, it looks like everybody else is enjoying the stuff so appreciate it and uh i think this weekend i'm trying to do some type of giveaway i keep thinking about it and every time i think of a number you know i, I look and uh, we got more subscribers here so I appreciate people passing the word out. You know, I was going to do one at 200. I got up and I was at like 205. The other day we were at like 213. So I thought, you know what? I'll get one up for when we hit 250. I got up this morning and it was at like 252. Then it dropped to 250 and now it's like 255. So I'm thinking we'll just call one the, like a 250 giveaway or a 300 if it comes first. But um, I need to see kind of how you guys do that stuff here. I guess there's different ways. Um, definitely want to do something where, you know, a person that's chosen to get something is going to enjoy it, get some use out of it. Uh, so anyways, rambling on here. Um, I'm going to get on with hopefully a couple of build reviews. Get those up either tonight or tomorrow. So look for some more videos. Again, man, any comments, feel free to shoot them. Shoot them over. Any questions you guys see? I saw a guy uh, post it up. Um, the the string trick for making the uh, blankets go over the seats like i had in that 49 ford i'm working on the guy said he did that it came out great that's awesome i had that that's what i try to get back here to the community if there's something somebody picks up and they're able to use that's awesome that makes my day so y'all have a good one we'll catch up with you later enjoy your friday evening look for some more videos